first time I come, now we're talking about the next 25 years. Yes? This is what we've been, you know, discussing this whole last year, that we are trying our best to put the foundation for the next 25 years. Because the last 25 years, I was very junior in the business. Yeah? I was doubting in my capabilities of if I would really be that someone who will deserve to reach to where I want to be. Yeah? I was shattered, I was scattered, I was all over the place until I was put in my first event. I still remember my first event. I'm not sure, but I remember that VP Donna was there. She was one of the people who really touched my way of looking into myself, of how I project myself, of how I present myself, and she helped me to start dreaming again. Because it all boiled down to the dream. Yes? The first block when we start this journey, it's the dream. But unfortunately, during this process, during this journey, we get very much distracted with so many facts of life to the extent we lose the focus, we forget why in the first place we started this, and we start becoming very logical in everything we do, in every approach. Before I put my foot for the next step, I'm analyzing all over the place. But what happened, we were very, when we were very baby, very junior, when I was very baby, very junior in this, I was not analyzing much. I was not thinking much. After coming to this, listening to the great mentors here, I started to dream again, to visualize my future, where I'm going to be. I had no, I started to, to not to have any single doubt on my body, but all that started because I was very much becoming a dreamer. Yeah? A dreamer means to be like, Really, you know, we, we are the, the best dreamers are the, are, are, the, are, are the young ones, yeah? When we were very young, we were wild, crazy dreamers. No logic will stand in front of my thoughts, in front of my vision, in front of seeing myself where I can be. When I was illogical, I was all over the place. Yeah? In a very childish way, I didn't give a damn about what the world would think about me. How they will look into me, how they will perceive me, how they will analyze me, how they will judge me. That for me become, became irrelevant. Because when my dream was that much ignited, was very clear, crystal clear, I was wild. I didn't listen to all the logical advices, <laughs> you know. The logical advices, when we say uh, the dream is stealers, it's not the people that we try you know, to not necessarily only the people are trying to tell you this is not a good business. But actually people sitting next to you, they love you. They want the best for you. But they are giving you all the logical reasons why this cannot happen. <laughs> not because they hate you. Yeah, but they're trying their best to help you. But they live in a different world. They have different set of dreams. 
They are not as wild as we are. They are not as wild as you are. The real question is, are you still the same wild person? That's how you made it to this level, by the way, guys. <laughs> yeah, but for some time, you lost your compass. You understand what I mean? You lost your compass because you are no longer chasing that dream. You lost your compass and you allowed everyone in your circle of relatives, friends, neighbors, work colleagues, everyone, you allow them to give you all the logic, all the logical answers, why this cannot happen, why you are in the wrong place, why in, you are in the wrong journey, why you are in the wrong path. And you started yourself falling in that trap for some time. But the most, I think, the biggest problem is when you yourself start believing that this is, these are your limitations. When you start believing yourself that mm, maybe that's what he meant for me. <laughs> Maybe that's what he is planning to give me. Maybe this is what I meant for to have. And you start, you know, living in your own hype. This is the biggest problem. When you start living inside your own hype. You start talking to yourself. No one is stopping you from being the best version of yourself, which is sometime, somewhere during the journey, you knew and you had no doubt that you can be there. Yes? Yes? Do you agree? You had no doubt that you will reach there. But what happened along the way? What happened? Huh? Someone inside you started convincing you that this is are your limitations. This is the best you can do. And you started believing that. And you started rationalizing that and you lost your hunger because you don't see clearly you are no longer that same wild child who has no doubt that I can control the world now you are allowing the whole world to control you and you give yourself every day you justify to yourself every day why you are not progressing, why you are not progressing, why you are not moving forward, and you ju keep justifying to yourself. And you give yourself all the reasonings, all the excuses. You become the masters. You are the masters of marketing everything. You did it. Sometime. Yes? Are you with me, guys? You did it for some time. But now, because you are the best marketing people, now you are marketing to yourself and to everyone. If I start asking you why you are not yet there, you can give me long haul list. And you will try to convince me. You will try to convince VP Donna. You try to convince VP David. You try to convince everyone. But in reality, the biggest problem is that when you lose your passion, your hunger, your compass, you cannot focus. You cannot rise again. 
So the question, do you want to rise again? Are you sure? I tell you guys, your answer is not convincing. Are you convinced, Vividola? <laughs> Do you really want to rise again? <laughs> because they have the answers. I'm just a, mainly a, just a product of VP Dona, VP Sati, the core, most of them, they were there when I started. I'm just a product of what they, ta of what they taught me. But I come from the same position. I'm no different than you. <laughs> I'm not trying here to teach you something. I'm not experiencing myself. We are the masters of living in our own hype, our own, you know, justifications. You know my story. What happened to me, most of you, who were there in the last ISP? Last ISP, few hands, who were there last VCON? The VCON before. So you know, you know what I went through a year plus, year and a half ago, and you know the kind of challenges and difficulties I went through. Some of you maybe they know, some they don't know, but in nutshell, a big war happened in my country for those who don't know and I lost every single penny I made throughout my life from QNET or before QNET. <laughs> and I went down to bottom zero. So since May, I started a new life. May 2023, I started a new life. And I said, okay, now I lost everything. I need to start building a new line new organization yeah because i need more money yes i'm surviving with the income that coming because I still have you know that i still have a house in the u.s my daughters are there studying i have a house in ue for my mom and sister and i have the house of my wife and the kids who move with me from sudan to egypt but i lost all my houses properties cars Jewelries, everything went down to zero. And I'm surviving because still my tracking center giving me money, but it's enough to survive. And this is the problem. When you stop, when you become a survival, when you become a survival, not a dreamer. Since May 2023, I was talking to myself, I said, yes. Now I have to rebuild, do more, do more, one more line. And I kept on delaying the, the delaying the, 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 the starting, well, uh, the process of when to start, you know, you know. How to start a new organization? How to start a new line? Simply by doing what? Yeah. Presentation to who? To the air? You need to have direct. Yeah? Yeah, you need to start talking to people. You need to start having directs. And I kept on delaying. Me, I said, yes, I'm going to start, you know. Then I said, oh, I'm busy. I'm the VP, I see. The V fund, the recharge, I'm busy, you know, all my day exhausted, so many meetings. I checked the other day, I discovered that myself and VP David, we are in 150 WhatsApp groups related to work. By the way, I checked the other day. Do you know that? <laughs> only you and me, forget about the other groups. That's only me and VP David in 150 WhatsApp groups. And I start telling myself, ah, a lot of work. My day is exhausted. I wake up morning. When I wake up morning, five hours different or six hours sometimes different between my geographical area where I'm in Egypt and Malaysia is six hours, sometimes five hours. So I say when I wake up 6 a.m., it's already 11 a.m. in Malaysia. 
and I found my WhatsApp is full, my emails are full, and this meeting is waiting to start to kick in at 9 a.m. my time, then another one is 11, then another one at 1, then another one at 3, then another one at 5, and I kept telling myself, I'm busy. And I'm too old for this. Yes, I will. I will do it. One day I will. I must. I will. I can. But May, June, July, August, you know, talking to myself, yes, can, but, 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 you know, my health, you know, you know, I'm not young, huh? You know that, huh? I'm not young in age, huh? But I'm not going to reveal. No one knows exactly how, how old I am in there, except one person, but also I deny that. He's not in the room. <laughs> Good that he's not in the room. <laughs> oh, he's sitting here. <laughs> look, look, look. How, okay. Look, how old is he? Will you believe that we are in the same age? Huh? He claims that we are in the, born in the same month. He claims. Don't mention the year of summer. So I kept telling myself, I'm old, you know, how can I do this again, you know? And I kept on convincing myself one month after another, after another, until we landed in ice. Last February. Who was here in ice? Who attended the last ice? One, two. No, seriously. Show me your hands. Ice, ice last February. February this year. Ice. Who are they? It was, it was February, right? Yeah? Feb. Feb this year. Then I come to last ice. And once again, the same process that happened to me many years ago when I landed on my first event. And everyone was talking about the next 25 years. And I started that day, that day when the process happened, which is a process you're going to do now. <laughs> this is a process that helped me to wake up. It was like a wake up call. I got slapped on my face. And I realized that I was losing my focus. I lost my compass. I lost direction. You know, I know that I need more money. I know that. But is it about money? Is it only money? Money can come different ways. But what is it that driving motive that will ignite you and make you pay the price? If you don't see what is happening, if you are not clear, Chris Sekri, having clear idea what's happening in the, across the river, you're not going to cross the river. You're not going to pay the price. You're not going to be hungry again. And what made me hungry again is this process. And because of that process, I'm hungry again and crazy and wild again to a level, a different level. I have directs every one month. I have a new direct now. Since that Feb, every month. And you cannot imagine how much I enjoy the fact. And I ask, and, I, and sometimes I sit during my prayer time. And I say, thank God that you gave me this. You put me again in the right direction. Because I believe that what I have will help a lot of people to take control back of their life. Maybe now I started to believe that what happened to me, that was the reason. Because he's giving me the opportunity to touch more people's life, to do this what I'm good at, to help people to see that it's possible for them to change, to be different, to do much. To be financially free, it is possible. But people out there, they are doubting just like how we were many years ago. 
I'm enjoying every single moment. Seeing people who are so innocent, they know nothing about our business. And they are in doubt. They doubt in themselves, they doubt in their capabilities, and you keep uplifting, uplifting, teaching, guiding, caddying. Do you understand where I come from? Do you do this every day? Do you do this every day, guys? God did not put you in this position coincidentally. Because this is a great mission, a great responsibility. Why you want to deprive from sharing it with as many people as possible? Because I realize it's not just about you decide. I decided last May that I will do this. I didn't do it May, I didn't make June, July, August. September, October, November, December, I was giving January, I was giving myself all the reasoning. I'm old, I don't have the time. But when I decided, I found the time. 